Namaskar friends. Today we will discuss about the childhood obesity. Children are obese, especially girl children are getting matured at the age of 7, 8 and all, which is really problematic for them and to the parents also. And also in terms of their health, in terms of immunity is always a question mark. So I just wanted to show a small video. I have experience of my two grandsons. I have improved my health from 2014. I have learned. So what is most important is if the parents and grandparents are having the right knowledge and they themselves are healthy and living a life without medicine, they can guide. Similarly, teachers also. A lot of teachers they themselves are sick. What way they can teach the um, children about the health? So I just wanted a small video about my grandchildren, how healthy and energetic they are. Many parents are uh, scared to send the children to the outside because why? Because once you get uh, drenched, you will get sick. So now how do we remain healthy even without uh, you know getting sick when you are uh, drenched in the rain? So let's understand, friends, what are the fundamentals to be healthy for the children? See, ideal weight as per height. Children should be, today morning I was speaking to one gentleman. Her daughter is about 5 feet, 4.5 feet, and then about 17 years. She says 90 kg weight. So what are the ideal weights? Indicators, it's 40 kg, 4, 4 feet, 6 inches, 5 feet, 50, 5.3, 55 kg. This is ideal. Now, what are the... Fundamental things one should follow. See, the two to two and a half liters water, we must make sure the children drink. They should be able to at least clear their bowels two times in a day. And they can eat thrice, three times in a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, there is no absolutely no problem. They can eat homemade food. And only thing is nothing in between three meals except water. And see what happens is generally we all are fond of children when they come to our house as a guest, we offer them some chocolate, ice cream, biscuits and all that. So they keep on eating haphazardly. So in a day, even the child also probably eating four to five times, many times, maybe six times also. So over the years, eating five to six times, they develop insulin resistance. That's how they keep on gaining weight. And exercise. Nowadays, uh, hardly the children are going to the school at 7 o'clock and many times most of the children are staying in the class school itself for some homework or, uh, you know, study hour and all that. Uh, they hardly get time. Absolutely, 30 minutes exercise is important. Exposure to sun is very important. Now, a lot of times we have seen D vitamin and B12 levels are also very low. Check maybe at what age to check. It's a little debatable question. In my opinion, 10, 12 years, I thought we can check if the child has got any immunity problem and, you know, little of uh, dullness and uh, lack of energy and all that. So if the D and B12 vitamin levels are low, talk to your doctor, take supplements accordingly. So what we are doing with our two grandchildren, one, my one grandchild is about eight years now, another boy is four years. They have been absolutely healthy and hale, and they live in the U.S. They were here for a two months holiday, and they went back yesterday. So we are just, I'm just sharing my experience with my grandkids. What do we do, me and my wife? So stop eating multiple times in a day. Don't keep on feeding the child. We are very fond of the children. So if you ask something, we immediately give it. Don't do that. Avoid milk. Milk is absolutely to be avoided, friends, because milk is not meant for the children. For us, it is meant for the, the you know offspring of that animal, offs of the cows. Sugars, sweets, bakery items, cool drinks, packets, anything out of the packet. Anything you're buying from a packet, you're opening and giving it to them, you're creating problem. Even those dabbas, you know, that uh, 
healthy drinks like bonvita horlicks and all that and the refined oils we must avoid refined oils in our cooking and we can use chikki oil or cold pressed oils and salt also we must use uh, himalayan salt so whatever food you make you make at home once in a while if they want it absolutely no problem what is the only only secret is they can eat only along with their meal either with breakfast or with lunch or dinner if they want to eat on ice cream absolutely no problem they can have after lunch immediately after lunch not that lunch they have got say at 1 o'clock and at 2:30 you are giving an ice cream or 3 o'clock you are giving me chocolate don't do that allow them to eat only three times in between nothing but water they can take it so this way they can be able to prevent the insulin resistance because a growing child definitely required three times of food homemade uh, nutritious food you can make so my wife makes nutritious food absolutely three times and then she actually gives another fourth time that is the fruits we will discuss that separately now what do you do immediately after waking up in the morning we ourselves don't have the habit of drinking water and many times i have seen children don't go to the toilet in the morning because they don't get it and then they somehow they give the food and uh, they rush to the school or sometimes they somehow sit in this toilet they may not, we don't know whether they've gone to the toilet or not the parents must ensure whether the child has gone to the toilet or not bowel movement or not they must inspect now what to do how to improve it so 5 to 700 ml water depends on the age let me tell you friends my 8 year grandson drinks at least 700 to 800 ml water in the morning immediately after getting up and my 4 uh, years grandson drinks 500 to 600 ml water but it's a technique friend we need to invest time we just can't ask them to drink water and you are engaged in work not at all you must sit with them we must encourage them to so whatever is required make them drink that water what happens when they drink the water there is a pressure on their stomach and they don't allow them to get engaged in any games or anything like that and the main job is to go to the bowel movement the toilet so believe me friends 99% of the times when the child drinks sufficient water maybe 500 to 750 ml depending on the age maybe 15 16 years they can even go up to 800 ml depends on it look at your convenience make the habit if you don't have the habit yourself how can you teach your child so if you start adults must drink at least 1 liter water focus on their mind go to the toilet similarly the children should be 500 to 750 ml water depends watch out for a few days you will know by drinking 500 600 ml water whether they are able to go to the toilet once the toilet is finished only you should send them to the school unfortunately friends in us the guidelines official guidelines is if a child is able to go to the toilet three times in a week they consider it is normal surprising that's the reason most of the children in the us have lot of autoimmune diseases and they have you know they cannot have the better immunity and all that so the hydration and elimination is absolutely non negotiable then what you can do friends you can make them do little bit of exercise jumping and all that bending movements if possible little bit running depends on your school timing and all that 30 minutes at home or at school the school also the, uh, the teachers should not immediately put, maybe the prayer is okay but at least half an hour i was hearing one the principal one founder of the school he was telling me that yes sir in, a, in our school immediately after the assembly in the morning 8 o'clock or 8:30 whatever the school starts half an hour the children are made to stand outside under the sun and some exercise great my compliments to that school and the teacher so 30 minutes of exercise is a must but of course this cannot be done at home because they have to have the breakfast so better is at home so after the uh, after this about half an hour of exercise you give them the breakfast what our breakfast at home you can give the breakfast remember friends while eating food you should not uh, make them drink water they should not drink water or while eating they should not 30 minutes at least they should wait 20 30 minutes and then after eating at least they have should wait for 2 hours water and food should not be taken at one time water and food should not be in the stomach at one time now after the breakfast they go to the school if there is some exercise it is good otherwise what needs to be done now in the school after 2 hours after 2 hours of the breakfast 500 ml water give the children the bottle after 2 hours suppose this child has gone to the school after the breakfast at 8 o'clock the teachers the respective teachers must tell them at 10 o'clock all the teachers must tell the students students now is the time for drinking water maybe she should start drinking water and 
propel everybody to drink water, not all the 500 ml water, maybe they can take 100, 150, 200 ml water. And then like that in installments, until lunchtime, they must finish half a liter water. So it's best to see that children are sent uh, two half liter bottles and then the teacher ensures before lunch this half liter bottle is completed. Then they can have just have to, as I said to, as I said earlier, uh, if they drink water, they must not sit for food immediately. Half an hour later, they can eat poor food. So this can be monitored by the teachers. And during the, the breakfast and lunch time, when people say children are drinking water, if they have to go to the bathroom for urinal, teachers must give sufficient breaks. I was hearing a teacher from a corporate school. They, she has devised a system of uh, water bell and urinal bell. But I understand the correspondent felt it is a waste of time and then they stopped that practice. Very unfortunate. Yes, children require to study well, but at the same time, the good health is important. I wish that this particular video must be seen by the teachers and school correspondents. Take advantage of this understanding. First of all, if anybody is unhealthy, if anybody is overweight, anybody is taking medicine, I don't think they have any moral right to tell to children. They must improve their own health first. Then after having the lunch, what they can do? Two after of lunch, two hours of lunch. Suppose 12 o'clock is the lunch break. Two hours from 2 o'clock until evening from departing the school, again, children should drink 500 ml water in installments again. Just try it on trends. It all depends. So somebody can drink 300. It all depends on it. So I'm just giving a broad guidelines, which I'm making sure my grandsons are doing it. We do the same thing. Since they were in holidays, they were at home. We consciously tell them after two hours, they finish uh, at least half a liter water. Then after lunch, again, after two hours, they make sure we, they drink water. Now what happens? This is again a responsibility of the teachers. And also they must give sufficient breaks for the bathroom. Because most of the time, the girl students don't go to the bathroom because bathrooms are not clean. And then most of the people don't go. So their going will become odd. So this should become a practice by the teachers and the school management. Then what happens after reaching home, children can come back home. Maybe they can play in the evening before leaving the school. After coming home, they can rest for 5-10 minutes. And no in-between needs, friends. Only breakfast, lunch, and then the dinner. So then they come have home, say they come home at five o'clock or six o'clock. The parents again should see that the children drink 500 to 750 ml water. Again, they must be allowed to focus on their stomach so they can go to the second bowel movement. Two bowel movements is a must for the children. Let me tell you, friends, my both grandkids are able to go two times easily to the toilet during the day. Morning, immediately after breaking up one, some second bowel movement for most of the time. The evenings, maybe sometimes after the dinner. So this way, a child is drinking at least two to two and a half liters water and then two times bowel movement is going and then he's uh, taking only three times the food, nothing in between the three meals. Many times in the school, there are birthday functions and children bring cakes, children bring uh, chocolates. They're unmindfully eating, friends. The unmindful eating is causing the health problems for the majority of the people. In the corporate offices, what happens? People have breakfast, when they go office, they are served with coffee, tea, and then the lunch, and then in between, they also served coffee, tea, and some snacks. And in between, on their own also, they drink one or two times coffee, and they go home and they have uh, maybe some snacks and the late night dinner. So a person is eating five to six times. See, friends, what happens? God has given a stomach as a, you know, your tank of holding your food and fat. But everybody has developed an extra tank. That is the belly fat. You see most of them, 60-70% of the population have belly fat. And at least again, 50-60% are overweight. People have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, lipid profile problems, high triglycerides and LDL and all that. So friends, then the second, third thing is they can have the, after the second bowel movement, only they should be given food. The food can be had 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 8.30 is absolutely no problem. So what happens in this way, they are able to cover all the seven essentials for good health. What are the seven essentials for good health, friend? Air, water, food, exercise, excretion, rest, and mind management. Children are to be, you know, the proper guidance to be given. Maybe they don't get much stress. The mind management is not a great stuff for them, but take care of them. Nothing in between three meals except water. At this time and again, I'm telling you, friends, other than water, if you just take even one small biscuit or a small chocolate, it amounts to eating one time. 
so you must count like that if your child has been given suppose you go to somebody's house they offer a chocolate you have to, so count how many times your child is eating if your child is eating more than three times he is he is not only growing but he will grow all around the overweight is the main reason for this multiple times eating 8 to 9 hours night sleep is absolutely important from 9 pm to 6 am and friends when unwell when a child is not well the best thing is make sure that you fast them for a day so how to do that they can be given coconut water or sugar cane juice or any fruit juice let them not eat see we are all having so much so much of love and affection for the children but the child is saying i'm not hungry we are not leaving them we are forcing many times some small children are fed by making them watch tv so they keep on eating more but it is all right eating three times is absolutely no problem because the growing child require food understand from food is the you know building material building material that's how the child is grows and you know develops his height and the weight when unwell do this particular thing friend these are the few things i wanted to share friends if you like this video please share and knowledge and discipline are the gateways to health both the parents and child i mean the teachers are responsible for the health of children if a child is overweight if a child is having frequent illness if a child is a young child has become you know premature too early i can only blame the parents 80% is the problem with the parents 20% is the problem for the teachers so let's all join together friends and we become healthy fast and when we become healthy we can guide our own family members and friends and relatives to be healthy thank you very much for listening and if you like this video please subscribe and share to my channel